Alrighty, let's take a look at this. Which I already did. Um, I think it's definitely better. There's a better progression. I think there are still some issues in terms of timing and giving the character enough time to process what they're seeing, what they're doing, what they're deciding on. And now seeing this laid out like that, my question to you is, because uh, my impression was that you're doing a clear, you know, there's a clear one, two, three, then go, then this happens, and then there's another one, one, two, three, oh man. And then here, there's a one, and then why would he look here? That's my question. And I know we had that before, but for some reason watching it now, I feel like we can do this one, two, three, and it would be faster. And then it would still end up with this. So you do one, two, three is this, but I would close the fingers a bit more so it's a clean paper view. Uh, and then her arm is up here, so there's no, um, what's it called, tangent right there. So your, your thing would be here-ish, you know, when the fingers are out clear um a clear gap between these two for negative space but so do one two three and then that's your this would be your ends and then she can slap him i think that would be okay but let's go step by step here so we're starting off and it's still a bit funky where that's okay but then he he's kind of looking here and not quite looking at what's going on here and then overall it seems like you have a bit of a drift in the characters going forward. I still think that it's it would be interesting to just have him move at least this far back. And then as he does his yes, going from here, which is also just a bit rushed, you would do this where then you kind of wiggle yourself forward from butt cheek to butt cheek, you know, moving one leg forward and then scooting back in so they would be closer. And then this happens, and he would do it again, and I guess then you could just leave it. I'm just concerned about eyeline and, again, the overlap um, of those arms. So, I know it's more work, but I think it would be just interesting to get a bit more separation than simply for her. Because then that way you can have, if she's further out here, right, and he's further out here, and they do the game, He's happy, and then you change it that she's okay with that as well, and they they will both go forward, meaning that okay, it's very clear, it's it's a game, they both are okay with this, goes forward, and then second game, she goes, oh man, she would stay where she is, he would scoot forward a bit more, and you could end up then in this position here, and this where they both are, then this happens, and then one, two, three, and then this happens, and that way she's close enough to smack him. That's personally what I would do in terms of just the visual progression. And then you can see how he goes forward once, goes forward twice because he's still into this. She goes forward once, goes, okay, why not once? Then she's frustrated and then she doesn't move forward. And that would be also a, a, kind of a cool visual cue that, you know, that in her change of um, emotion or, you know, and how she feels about all this. And the speed of this is cool. One, two, three. I will keep it within that realm. There's one, two, three, he goes, yes! So what, I what I'm missing here is that you're going, yes! And straight into this. So I would do a that, and then he goes, yes! And from here, I will bring those arms down, and he looks at her, that's a beat, and then he goes forward, like I said, scooting forward, into this pose. From here to here, it feels like we're rushing through, and we're kind of skipping a couple beats. Then this happens, that's all fine. And then what you could do is when he does this, right? And she goes forward, you could potentially, let's see if I'm sitting here and go forward, you know, she could lift her hands. It could be up like this. I don't know, that's a great pose. <laughs> Useless scribbles. Meaning that, you know, she's in this pose and when this happens, her arms could be maybe just a bit off the, the legs, just so it's not the thing where this is her pose, and throughout the whole thing, she's always stuck in that pose. So, I mean, it feels like that arm is just going to be constrained there, and that's all there is. So when this happens here, you lift her arms, just kind of change the posing a bit. And then you go back here, one, two, three. Actually, what I like here is that you have her lean forward, and then when they do the second one, I think this is actually cool, that he is actually more leaning into, because he's more interested in this, and she is a bit more 
upright, which means that at the very beginning, let's go back and push this further, have her lean in as well, right? So again, she will be further back, he's, he'll be further back, and they're both leaning in, meaning they're both interested in this. The second one, he's still leaning, and she's more straight, and then the third one, <laughs> she's all pissed here, that's all good. See, that's great. He's still leaning in, and she's actually leaning back, because she's really not into this. I think that would be a great progression. So you already have a lot of that in there, which is cool. So again, we could do this. And the same thing here, you do one, two, three. And I think even here, you can have a bit of a bigger moment of ha. You could do a bit of a yes. Again, not as big as this, obviously, but just a bit of a, a bigger moment there. And you're mentioning that you tried to add thought process and you're hoping it's reading. I think it does, it's definitely reading better, but I think you can push this a bit more. And especially for her, because it, feel, it feels like we're doing one, two, three, and then, oh, and then, whoa, we go straight into this. I mean, you want to see a bit more where one, two, three, and he goes into a ha. And then we wonder, hmm, how does she feel? And then you can have a very clear change in her face of, oh, man. And maybe her shoulders slump down and she's a bit more like, ah, oh, a bit, bit deflated, the back and round in a bit. Then this happens. And that's good that she goes back a bit. And then this happens, you know, and also when you go forward like this, it just feels like this is one rotation forward, meaning in one axis. So at this point where she's less into it, you know, it could be maybe that this arm goes back here and she's a bit more twisted in Y. So the body's a bit more towards us. And the arm goes here and even her face could be slightly three quarter. My drawings mean nothing, but slightly three quarters so that when he goes to here, you know, she could be a bit tilted also away from us. I would just change the posing. So it's not, here's a pose, here's a pose. The only thing that has changed is a rotation through the root going forward. So you can change the arm poses. You can change the, the curvature, the tilt, the, the rotation in Y. So you have just different, there's a different emotion between here and here. And you can show that in your overall body posing. And this... And again, that's great. She's a bit further back. He's still leaning in. And I would I would probably just still go one, two, three. And this could this could be faster than this. This is already pretty fast, which is good. But just for variation, you could potentially even have more speed in there. Just a bit more rush. One, two, three. So this is a progression. The first one is a certain speed. The second one is even faster. And the third one is full on. She so gets really into this and she just wants to get over uh, get over this. I do like this though. I, I do like that he looks at his hands and then back and then slap. But again, I would do one, two, three, and that's your third one. And he goes, oh, wow, bam. And that's cool. I like this. Face towards us, bam, a little pause. But then you could probably have to watch out if that's his butt cheek here, just from a, from a mechanics point of view. He's kind of shuffling backwards and sliding back. I would have him rotate and pivot off this side of the butt cheek so that you know that part of his pelvis will be here which means his ear will be here um but that's okay because you could just probably take this line out and that would be this would be your render resolution type of aspect ratio so you see a bit more room or you go crazy where you know he goes further out and we would say it's almost cut off, which would be kind of weird, but I don't know, I'm just thinking out loud. What if what if we don't see this and it gets off off screen, so we lose the face. So as an audience, we go to the only face that's there, which is her, and then she can have a bit of a giggle, a bit of a laugh, so that she's not going, this is a pose. This is the same facial pose. You need some changes in there. She has this, which is great, and this, and now that she won, now that everything is to her liking, how does she feel at the very end? So I think that would be a different pose here. But again, it could be something where the full resolution or aspect ratio would be something like this, where you can see him. And then from a technical point of view, you gotta be careful how got that IK leg there stuck and while the rest of the knees are moving. Just mechanics wise, that hand is kind of floating and not really resting on that leg. So just detail stuff towards the end, you wanna look at that. But that's it, that's kind of what I have in terms of uh, body changes and just ideas. And I know it's a pain, I understand it's a pain to have him move back and have him scoot forward. Um, but I think visually it would be more interesting and just mechanics-wise it would be more interesting than 
then basically just staying put throughout and you know you can you can see the change if I go from front to back he's a bit forward here we can kind of push that but you want to show this with him wiggling forward and trying to change his position was right now he's just kind of sliding you can see that foot here over time here just kind of slides forward and drifts so definitely need to address that in terms of proper um, body mechanics all right that's it like I said thank you all right there's an email you can sign up you can start whenever you want you can submit whatever you want you get 16 submissions either way a like and subscribe would be awesome all right thank you